She became a Bengals cheerleader at the age of 40, and now she's telling you how she did it, becoming the oldest NFL cheerleader. Laura McManus is here to tell you about her new book. It's called it's not about the pom-poms. Oh, but some would say it would be. <laughs> Look, it's, it's good to meet you. I really am excited because I've seen so many stories we've done about you. Yes. And you were really an inspiration to so many people. Did you ever think, because I know you had a rough time for a while there, girl. Did you ever think, I'm going to be an inspiration to others? No, not at all. It was such an internal journey for me that I didn't even think about how any of this would come about. It didn't even cross my mind. Okay, and I want to say that... I've only been able to read a little bit of this book, but it is incredibly, intensely personal. Why would you do this? That's a good question. Um, I think to understand the process of how broken down I was and to chair in front of 60,000 people, it takes a lot of confidence, and I didn't have any. Leaving my marriage, it was very verbally abusive, and it completely broke me down into where I wasn't even functioning. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't a good mother, a good partner, and I thought, you know what, I really need to leave this relationship. So having the confidence and the courage to all of a sudden cheer in front of 60,000 people in a little outfit, there's a process that goes along with that. And I think it's important to share because a lot of people are in situations they aren't happy with. As I understand it, uh, so you were you thought, hey, you know, maybe I should try out for this. And the man you were dating at the time, who we both know, <laughs> said, um, you know what, you're too old to do that. Is that yeah. right? Did he really say that to you? He said, honey, come on. And it was like the look on his face. And I was looking at the cheerleaders and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want to do that, and I, I'm going to do that. So it just kind of sparked the motivation to just, you know what, it was, it was definitely for me. It wasn't to, you know, spite him or anything like that, but it was definitely like, you know what, maybe a lot of people think that. Don't tell and, me I can't. Right? Yeah, and I don't feel like it can't, so you know what, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. What about the kids? How were they when you said, I'm going to try out to be a Bengal? My daughters at the time were cheerleaders, which the competition cheerleading, little, yeah. they were little, and they were tumbling, and so when I said I'm going to try out, they're like, Mom, you can't even do a back handspring. <laughs> but I'm like, no, 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 we just dance. We don't do any of that. And so, and I would think as, as far as the Bengal is concerned, Bengal is concerned, it's glamorous, but it's not that glamorous. You want to like open, pull back the curtain a little bit for folks who are out there going, all you guys do is look beautiful and, and dance. Exactly. No, there's so many different mishaps that happen. One time I had a heat warmer that was in my stockings and it went down in my pantyhose and you could see it. Um, in the cold days, our eyes are watering and our makeup's dripping and you know, our noses are running. And there's a lot of different little mishaps that happen all the time. Your book is now in the process of becoming a movie. Your yes. story. Yes. You just came back from New York. Tell us about what's going on. Um, I, when I went to New York, I had lunch with one of the screenwriters, and they're so excited about it. We started on it about a year ago, and they kind of paused when I was writing the book, and now they're basing it off of the book. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different funny and intense different things that would make a good movie, and they're very excited, and they're writing the screenplay. So that's awesome. Okay, you have a book signing tomorrow. Will you tell us? Yes, it's at Joseph Beth at Rookwood at 11 a.m. And so you'll, will you be reading from the book? Will you be giving a lecture or just signing? Just signing and people are answering questions. And if people want me to read, I absolutely will read. Absolutely. <laughs> it's called It's Not About the Pom Poms. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm not saying not who this person is because she's protected the innocent, so to speak. <laughs> but it's a guy who used to work with us a long time ago here at the station. Laura, it's such a pleasure to have met you. Thank we you wish so you much. all the best. Keep us up to date on the movie I will. and the book. And go see her tomorrow at Joseph. Thank you.